Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. We are continuing our coverage of Mistral Small 3.1 model. I already have shown you how to get it installed locally as you can see in this third video here. You can also install it locally and run it on CPU in quantized format. I already showed you that too. Plus we have done a thorough testing on all the tasks including vision coding math and language not only from api but also locally so if you're interested please check that video out on the channel for the purpose of this video what i'm going to do i'm going to again use function calling but locally so i already have installed mistral small 3.1 and as i said if you want to know how then please just watch these videos especially this third one so if you're following along i'm assuming you already have it installed now we will be using function calling or tool use for this video. If you don't know what exactly that means, let me first explain. So this Mistral small 3.1 24 billion instruct model is an instruction tuned LLM developed by Mistral AI, which is a Paris based AI startup. With 24 billion parameters, this model excels at a wide range of tasks, including conversational, instructional, creative, and reasoning tasks. This model has been released under very permissive licensing term, which is Apache 2. And I already have discussed its training data set and a lot of other benchmarking information in other videos. One of the cool features of this model is that it supports function calling. Function calling is a powerful capability of this model that allows it to dynamically invoke external tools or functions beyond simply generating textual answers. So rather than directly providing answers from memory, a model with function calling capability can return structured instructions or calls specifying clearly which external function should be execute, executed along with relevant arguments. This enables the model to retrieve real-time data, interact with external systems, APIs or databases, and perform actions like fetching current weather, curing real-time information from web services or databases, performing computations, and much, much more. <clears throat> In other words, if you have any external modern or legacy software running and it exposes itself on an endpoint, you can use function calling to connect your LLM or your AI powered application with that external application. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to generate function call. And not only that, we will be actually making a genuine real world function call to see how exactly this Mistral small 3.1 works. And that uh, code is already shared on the repo. I have just made some changes in order to adapt it to my system. Now, before I show you the code and we run it, let me also give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. This is a VM I'm using and this is a GPU NVIDIA H100 with 80 GB of VRAM courtesy Mast Compute. And you can see that it is already consuming around 74 gig of VRAM because that is how much this Mistral 3.1 consumes as I showed you other video in detail. So. If you're looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, you can find the link to best compute by the way in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. So please do check them out. Now let me take you to first my VS code and I will show you the code. So we are doing function calling. This first code just generates a function call. I'm just importing the libraries. I'm giving the endpoint to my locally running VLLM server, which is already running and how to run it as i said i already have shown you in another video so you see it is at the moment running here now after giving it the endpoint of local v llm server i'm specifying my model which is already loaded i'm just getting the date and this is a system prompt from mistral and then we are defining some tools which do the function calling or schemas so first one is get current weather so users is is going to give a natural language prompt and model is going to convert it into function call on the basis of these tools defined so i have a couple of tools defined here the first one is for weather and it has some required parameters with the data types and then we have this another one function which is a rewrite function and then the user is just making a query that what is the current temperature in dallas texas in fahrenheit 
and then model is converting this natural language prompt to function call so this first example is just going to create a function call or a signature it is not going to make anything so but i just want to show you how it exactly works so let me take you here and i'm just going to run this code in front of you so i'm just calling f3 it's a code let's run it there you go so you see model has detected this function and it says function call detected and because i was asking about weather so it has correctly got the function call in this json format that the function call will be made for this city in this state and the unit will be fahrenheit but it hasn't made any sort of function call yet now let me show you how you can make the actual function call so let me take you above before i show you that let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are agentbot agentbot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like discord slack and others it is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and i will also drop the link to their website in video's description so do check them out okay so let's go back and let me show you the code so code is similar what we saw earlier but now i am defining this function which is get random joke and then just some of the parameters and this depends upon of course your application and which is required which is optional and then i'm asking it a natural language prompt can you give me a random programming joke and then i'm just going to put one five here because that is what this model um, recommends the temperature which determines the randomness of the response so we have also specified that and this is where i am making um, i'm just calling this here and this is just a response and all that stuff and then this is a model initial response and this is a tool call and this is the api url so this is actual endpoint where they just give you the random jokes if you call this api so i'm calling the actual api on the web it is returning with the response after the llm has generated the function call and that function call is being made to this endpoint and then we are getting the response back and then print it out now this is where you practically hand over uh, the control to llm and then it's if llm doesn't generate a good function call this function won't be triggered if it does it will be um, it will be triggered then you'll get the joke back so let's run it and this is where um, you know you might need another llm or another tool to make sure function call is correct but anyway we'll run it there you go so function call uh, it was detected and it has got the joke and this is a joke and uh, the category of joke is programming let me run this again there you go so it's a different joke every time because it is calling the api which is get and giving us random jokes so there you go and this is actually funny uh, anyway if you have done the Perl programming you might know what this means but look this is how easy it is to do the function calling with it let me know what you think about it so far i have found out that this mistral's function calling is really really good because i have used other function calling models too and either i have to put in some um, other tool or llm to make sure or to just verify that whatever function call has been generated is really what we want to call the relevant api endpoint so that's it let me know what do you think about this function call and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching